Uh, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The truth is finally starting to come out now. Uh, this has to do with uh, the video BBC made about late Prophet T.B. Joshua. It has been known from the onset that uh, T.B. Joshua's life was shrouded. He was surrounded by uh, uh, detractors, those who claim to be disciples and uh, parasites, which is what they truly are. Remember J. Israel, one of T.B. Joshua's uh, staunch enemies. He actually made a video about one of the, uh, with one of the uh, testifiers against T.B. Joshua, Shisley. And uh, he was a pioneer of uh, the movement against uh, T.B. Joshua, along with uh, J uh, what, uh, Solomon Izang. Yeah. Uh, you see, if God is on your side, nothing can bring you down. When God stands by you, he will use your enemies as a ladder for you to climb to your own glory. J. Israel is out now in defense of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Isn't that strange? How wonderful God is. God can use any man to carry out his holy work. It doesn't matter how sinful or dirty you are. Take a watch. The same J. Israel that was trying to bring T.B. Joshua down is now in defense of T.B. Joshua. Dear BBC, this is J. Israel Sr., all the way from Zimbabwe, right here in Africa. In response to your recent documentary scrutinizing the character of the late African prophet T.B. Joshua, I deem it necessary today to articulate my sentiments and forewarn you of some impending truths that I shall unveil in due course. The individuals purported to be victims whose narratives were presented are not unknown to me. These are people that I know, and I assert my readiness to shed light on their testimonies because some of them are just liars who are looking for cheap social media popularity. The portrayal of T.B. Joshua as a malevolent and heinous entity accused of severe crimes against humanity compels me to invoke some biblical principles of fairness and compassion, urging a refraining from precipitous judgments. The Bible in the book of Romans chapter 2 verse number 1 says, you, therefore, have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else. For at whatever point you judge another, you are also condemning yourself. Because you who pass judgment do the same things. The so-called victims that you see speaking out, trust me, they also have their own flaws and their own imperfections. You are going to be shocked as I begin to speak. While acknowledging that scrutiny is applicable to all, it is very imperative to approach such matters with due diligence and impartiality, avoiding narratives that perpetuate stereotypes, especially when the individual in question is no longer able to defend himself. The man is deceased. Allow the man to rest in peace. Furthermore, the Bible ardently advises against bearing false witness. In the book of Exodus chapter 20 from verse number 16, the Bible clearly articulates and it says, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. This imperative underscores the necessity of verifying facts before disseminating potentially damaging information such as the one that BBC has been airing out over the past 24 hours. I have closely interacted with some of the alleged victims featured in the documentary and substantial proof exists on the internet challenging the veracity of their claims. It is incumbent upon us to contemplate the evidence presented critically so. For instance, my interview with uh, Sithless BC of the Kwanele Foundation, one of the purported victims, reveals certain discrepancies in her statements about Prophet T.B. Joshua. And there is a lot I have to say about this individual. A call for authenticity could be met by requesting at least just one picture. Photographic evidence of her interactions with the late Prophet T.B. Joshua. If Sithi can provide at least one picture of herself. Anyway, Bisola, another victim again, 
who went ahead and even authored a book. Her apparent bitterness emanates only from one thing. There is an unfulfilled personal desire rather than a genuine grievance against the late prophet T.B. Joshua. This is somebody who wanted to be married by the late prophet T.B. Joshua and it never happened. I have spoken to Bisola. This is somebody that I know. In considering the allegations against prophet T.B. Joshua, Matthew chapter 7 verse number 1 says, Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Now, this scriptural guidance advocates for a measured, um, for a measured introspective approach when assessing the actions and character of others. Fairness dictates that we recognize the inherent flaws in every human being because nobody is perfect. Only Jesus was perfect. Romans chapter 3, 23 says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It is paramount to maintain a balanced perspective that acknowledges both the strengths and imperfections of individuals. Addressing wrongdoing is very essential. Trust me on this. But the pursuit of truth demand sensitivity and a commitment to ethical journalism. BBC has failed dismally. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 17 says, The first to present their case seems right until another comes forward and questions them. I have come forward. Cautioning against precipitous conclusions based on one-sided narratives. It is very, 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 very important to listen very carefully to what I'm saying. Now, moreover, the credentials of an individual known as Solomon Izang Ashoms, purporting to be a journalist and going around masquerading as an investigating journalist must be scrutinized. A demand for evidence of his journalistic education is warranted. As substantiated claims risk compromising the integrity of the journalistic profession. Solomon is not a journalist never has been a journalist. He is just a man who has an iPhone and he knows how to sit in front of a phone and laugh. Regrettably, my respect for the BBC has waned due to what appears to be a lack of integrity in presenting unverified narratives on camera under the guise of speaking up. Really? BBC, this is a disappointment of the highest order. I beseech the BBC to exercise discernment and adhere to ethical journalism in the pursuit of truth, acknowledging the intricate nature of human character and the paramount importance of upholding biblical principles in the process. I can tell you one thing for sure right now. I can tell you one thing for sure at this point. Now listen to me and listen to me very, very well. BBC, because of the people, the individuals, the alleged victims that you brought onto your documentary, that you brought to come and speak out, I can tell you right now that the authenticity of your documentary is porous. There's so much porosity to it simply because the individuals that you brought to come and testify against the late Prophet T.B. Joshua are actually questionable characters. These are individuals who are out of line. And I can tell you one thing for sure. This is just the beginning. And this is the first video that I'm making. I am not defending Prophet T.B. Joshua. And trust me, for the very first time, I have to say this. For the very, very first time in the past, I've said a lot. I have done a lot. But for the very first time, I have to say this. I stand with the late Prophet T.B. Joshua. Hate me or love me. But I am about to give you some shocking truths about the so-called alleged victims that you saw speaking out in that documentary. My name is Jay Israel Sr. I fear nothing. I fear nobody. I only fear God. This is just the beginning. It's about God. God. Uh, once again, we see... Another good reason why we should be very careful how we, how we pass judgment. All right, BBC came out with a one-sided story. 
without the accuser, without the accused being present to defend himself. But God defends his own. This is just the beginning. Thank you.